Prince Odi Okoji, husband of Nigerian actress Mercy Johnson Okoji, has declared his support for the All Progressives Congress APC candidates in the coming governorship election in Edo State, Pastor Sage Izeyamu. Okoji is an international businessman and the Prince of Uromi in the eastern northeast local government area of Edo State. According to a press statement from him, he is also a grassroots politician leading his Essan people to support his party and its candidates. An ardent loyalist of former APC chairman, Comrade Adams Ushumole. Prince Okoje believes that APC is the best party for Edo State where his Esa people will thrive. Although he is yet to occupy a public office, Prince Okoje in 2016 lobbied for the post of Deputy Governor of Edo State but lost. In 2019, he also won the ticket of his party to represent his constituency at the House of Representatives. The ticket was taken away from him through high-wired policies. Prince Okoje is very sure that the APC candidate will win gubernatorial election. election. Elections can be won and they can also be lost. But in, the, in this coming election, I can assure you that APC is winning. There is no doubt about that. The people in my place have already accepted APC as their party. They are going to come out to support the party and make sure that we have victory. Governor Baseki failed in all ramifications because he does not even know what it is to be a leader. <laughs> he lacks leadership skills and all he does is fight and that's not the way to go about politics. Politics is about knowing your people and your people knowing you in return. From what I can see, is not on ground, but our candidate, Pastor Sageze Yamu, is going to win this election, undoubtedly. He also dismissed fears that the election may turn out to be violent. He said this election is going to be peaceful, and the truth of the matter is that all you see or hear on social media are mere speculations. I've said it before that elections are not won on social media. You guys living outside Edo State are not from here and you would not be coming here to vote. We have our PVCs already and the voting process is going to be as peaceful as possible. There is no violence whatsoever and I can assure you that at the end of the day, the victory would be ours, he said. Prince Okoje can lay claims to knowing the will of his people as a businessman and grassroots politician. He has contributed immensely to the development of Uromi his hometown, a town he loves so much. To him, all politics is local, and as a politician, once, one must always be, will be there to uplift his people. He said, my personality influenced me into politics. You see, there are different ways to play politics, and there are different reasons to go into politics. My political agenda is clear, and it is the message that I tell anyone and I come in contact with. I'm into politics to be able to De develop my immediate community and to be able to empower the people living in my community. I am a local politician, but I am also a statesman aspiring to be a state leader very soon. Part of my manifesto is to develop Urumi, which is my immediate community. At the same time, I am a versatile politician with a national outlook. Hmm. And he has been very visible in the development of Urumi and its environs. To him, Uromi is the heartbeat of Edo State, and Edo State is the heartbeat of Nigeria. Invariably, Uromi is the heartbeat of Nigeria. In the past, we have had big politicians that Uromi has produced, despite the fact that he is yet to occupy a political office. He has been empowering the people, especially women. He said, I've tried my best to empower people in my community, women, traders, artisans, and youth. In politics, you know what they do is to engage youth for violence but i have tried my best to get youth off the streets i have a program solely dedicated to this cause called taking the youth off the streets and what i do is to get them out and advise them to drop their guns or weapons and i set up in various businesses he's also very supportive of the mercy johnson okoje foundation for children and widows he also set up prince Odi Okoji Empowerment Scheme, of which over 200 women are, had benefited. Okay. Ha, I think that this guy is just trying to campaign. He's campaigning for himself. He just tried to come out again. I know he tried to contest last year. 
last day last year in 2019 well uh is 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 doing is how, how will i put it yes that is his right for him to compete for anybody it is in his own right to do that and he's doing the right thing you know as far as he's concerned and i don't think anybody should fault him on that he has the right to support anybody he wants to support and meanwhile for the fact that he's in, in he has been in apc from what he has he's saying he has been in apc and he believes that a uh, Obaseki doesn't know how to play politics. He's just fighting everybody here and there, according to what he said. He's the one that said it, that Oshimole, that Obaseki has been fighting everybody. But that is not how to play politics. That is not on ground. That all the things that you are hearing on, on social media, this and this and this and that, mm, that don't, don't, uh, don't, don't give in to all of those. Don't even believe all of those things. Because those ones are not going to be there to vote. So, but what is on ground is... Oba Eze Yamu is the one that everybody knows according to what uh, he's saying. And you know, it's that reminds me when there was an in online uh, debate between Obaseki and Eze Yamu and Eze Obaseki excused himself. He said he was going somewhere that his deputy should just you know, sit in for him. But the Pastor Eze Yamu said, No, 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 he doesn't want that. But at the end of the day, he came back. So people were like, oh, this guy is not going to wait. He's not going to run. So that was when they were preparing, planning for the Chinese television uh, debates and which took place. And the man was there. He was able to defend himself. You know, you all are witnesses to what really happened. Who won the election? Who, who won the debates or not? So a lot of, since that day, a lot of people, you know, started changing their minds whether to go with Obaseki or to go with uh, Eze Yamo based on the results of the debate and based on their performance that very day. So, um, it's, it's, it's part of it, it's part of the campaign. But the reality is that has this man done something? Has he done anything for him to be re to be re-elected for the second time? So, it is the question Edo people really need to answer. Yes, uh, the Justice's husband has been able to See what he knows concerning the whole thing, and he says, Eze Yamu is the man. You are not important at all. Who knows you? That's what someone is saying here. Paid advertoria, you should go into acting their industry. We support here and there for Eze Yamu. The hope of Pastor Eze Yamu to take the leadership mantle of a though state governance is rising day by day. A man who lacks the prowess and wherewithal cannot determine or influence the voting pattern of. Conscientious electorate in the upcoming election or governorship election, he has the right to to support anybody. I think uh, <laughs> there's no no uh, uh, cause for alarm. Mercy, husband, support Yamu or not? Obaseki will win the election. Hmm. Do you expect him to declare support for Obaseki while his wife is a stakeholder in Yaya Bilu's government in Kogi? He has no option unless he will be dragged out of government quarter and remains jobless. Okay, Obaseki is the winner. APC can only win this election if it is rigged. So guys, leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts concerning what this man has said.